what's that weird piece of equipment in the gym that no one really knows how to use? So those of you that have been in the gym world for a while, those of you just walking into the gym world again, you probably see a couple of pieces in the gym that you're looking at and you go, what the heck is that? What is this? How do you use it? And there's one common one that people have that I see a lot of people that just look at, you kind of know what, you kind of want to know how to do it, but you're not really sure what it is. And we actually have one here. It's this beast right here. This thing right here, for everyone that doesn't know, this is what is called a GHD. A GHD stands for glute ham device. On a GHD, you can serve primarily two different exercises, actually a little bit more, but the two ones you see commonly most people do is a sit up on a GHD, but what it's really designed for really isn't sit-ups. The sit-ups have been popularized by a lot of the CrossFit games, but what you see that's really good for this one is actually you to do GHRs. What a GHR stands for is glute ham raise. All right, so let me actually show you how this thing is done. I'm gonna kind of swing, zoom this thing in a bit. So this piece of equipment right here, let me show you how to do this and pretty much not feel like a complete rookie with this. So number one, all right, to do this, to get this thing set up properly, you gotta know how far apart you gotta move what we call the toe plate away from the pad. Ideally, here's what the exercise should look like. Let me see if I can't get this thing set up correctly. When you're doing this, this looks more along the lines of, think of it this way, as a body weight leg curl. You're gonna lay yourself face down, put your feet in the support. You're gonna straighten your legs, make sure I don't jumble the microphone on this one. Ooh, there we go. Then from here, the goal is to pretty much do a body weight leg curl. This is fantastic for hamstrings and glutes. And trust me, if you've never done this before, your hamstrings get completely obliterated on this one. I remember the first time that we actually introduced this into the gym, um, pretty much everyone that first tried it the very first time, their hams are so sore that they actually had trouble walking for a few days. It's kind of a funny comical walk. And in fact, I remember we actually added almost a quarter inch in most people's legs, muscle-wise, especially the guys, within a month just because the hamstrings were forced to grow so well. You need strong hamstrings. But let me show you really how to set this thing up. So right off the bat, if you notice when I was doing my leg curl, see if I can't get in some different lighting over through here. Oh, there we go. When I was doing this, I had my knees not on the pad. That's the key thing you have to remember. You don't put your knees on the pad. Your knee is actually behind the pad when you do the leg curl. Remember, one more time, never put your knees on the pad in this. You put your knees behind the pad. If you're in a situation to where, let's say, this plate is so close that you come up and get yourself in position, and you notice that my knee is pretty much very high on the pad, you're really gonna feel a lot of stress really in the back of the knee and in the hamstring that you don't want to feel. You don't want it on, you want it slightly behind, close to almost where the bottom of the pad would be. That's number one. Two, if you've never done this before, just accept it now, it's gonna be a lot harder than you want it to be. So slide yourself in, put your feet in these supports. Don't worry, I will say right now, this thing does not tip over. I have seen people try to tip this thing over. Doesn't happen. Um, it's not to say that it can't, but you're really gonna have to go at it with the ultimate goal of, my goal is to throw this thing over my head, which if you're not there, don't worry about it. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna push yourself away, lower yourself down, come up, and you're gonna curl yourself up. Now when you do this, you don't have to keep your feet flat on the pad. You can actually get your heels come off and just push with your toes. That is why it's called a toe plate. And this is how you're gonna do the leg curl. Now, let's say if you're a complete beginner, okay? And if you're a complete beginner, you're not gonna do that your first time. Here's what I want you to do. You're most likely gonna notice that you're not gonna be strong enough to do that yet. What you do is instead get in the in position, which is right up through here, push yourself away, and lower down slowly. Then when you're at the bottom position, take your hands, put them on supports, bring yourself back up. And I want you to be able to do this, take about three to four seconds to lower yourself down, so what you're going to notice is your hamstrings and the back of your legs will get a lot stronger from that. When you do that for about three sets of 10, then you'll be ready to try the curl variation of it. The first level of the curl variation on the GHR, or doing the GHR, is going all the way down and kind of explosively swinging yourself up. All the way down slow and then explosively swinging yourself up. 
When you master that, then you can get into the next variation of starting a complete horizontal, curling from there. Now, this is a fantastic piece of equipment to use. It's one of those that whenever I do see a gym that has it, I'm actually thankful for because whoever bought this piece of equipment for the particular gym pretty much knows how beneficial this is to the body. The thing is, is most people just never shown you how to use it. Feel free to look at this video a few more times. If you want more information on it, let me know. I'll be happy to do more of a comprehensive video over not only the, the glute, ham, uh, glute ham raise, that's the exercise name, but also different sit-up variations you want to do. I want people to know how to use this because when you know how to use that piece of equipment, man, does it make developing the whole backside of your body takes it to a whole other level. Oh, that's some lighting in there. Let's back up a little bit. So guys, let me know what comments or questions you have. Let me know how I can help out. So, but in the meantime, guys, this is Travis Merritt with the Relic Transformation Center. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to help out in any way, shape, form I can. But in the meantime, everyone, take care, have amazing workouts, even better meals, and I look forward to chatting with all of you tomorrow.